Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Drawing Tutorial Course Code U18ME104. I am B. Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering Kids Varangal. In this video lecture, I am going to explain one problem on projections of solids too. I have taken this problem from Engineering Drawing by Endeavor Textbook Exercises 13b Projections of Solids 2 Page number 3092-312 Here I have taken problem number 5 a tetrahedron of 75 mm long edges has one edge of the base parallel to the HP and inclined at 45 degrees to the VP, while a face containing that edge is vertical. Draw its projections. First, you need to identify the given solid. Here, the given solid name is tetrahedra. We know that this is the special type of pyramid. This tetrahedron is a special type of triangular pyramid in which base sides and slant edges are equal in length. So he has given that the edge length or slant edge length is 75 mm. Uh, this tetrahedron having four equilateral triangles four equilateral triangle faces like cube cube having six equal square faces it is it is also described by one dimension only that is the edge length or slant edge length 75 mm axis length generally not given here i have drawn uh, this tetrahedron model in AutoCAD software. Let us see the visualization for, uh, for easy understanding. You can see it. This is the tetrahedron. Tetrahedron having four equal, equal triangular faces. These three are side faces. And bottom one is also same equilateral triangle, triangular faces. He has given that each edge length you can see this edge or this slant edge that equal to 75 mm he has given that one edge one edge of the base here this is the uh, base one one of its base <coughs> one of its base parallel to the hp that means this is uh, when the edge is parallel to hp that edge is perpendicular to VP. This is the one condition. He has given one more condition is while a face containing that edge while a face here this edge is parallel to HP this this face containing that edge is vertical you can see the second position for First condition, edge is parallel to HP. You can see the true shape in the top view. This is the equilateral triangle. This slant edges are reduced, appear in the top view. And you can see the front view. This is the front view. The second condition is, this edge having one face, this face is vertical. You can see the second one. This face is vertical. For this condition, we have to draw the front view and top view. This is the front view for second stage. And this is the top view for the second stage. Only this top slant edge is visible in the top view. Coming to the third stage.
that face that vertical face make uh, that that vertical face inclined at 45 degrees to the vp for this condition you have to draw the front view and top view you can see here this is the this surface this space inclined at 45 degrees to the vp and this is the final top view and similarly you can draw the final front view in the final front view this bottom surface is visible and this ba back side slant edge is invisible so we have to represent with dash line coming to the our rear problem already you know first we have to draw the xy line this is the xy line next let us assume this tetrahedron standing on the hp and one edge should be parallel to hp and parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp first you need to begin the top view top view is here and equilateral triangle a side is parallel to hp and parallel to vp first draw the equal equilateral triangle that is below the xy this edge length is he has given that 75 mm take your engineering compass this is center uh, you can take this as center draw the arc here with radius of 75 mm and cut the previous arc from arc to the another set another opposite center point next join join this, those points this is the equilateral triangle one edge is parallel to hp when you are seeing from top side the slant edges also visible that that uh, slant edges are reduced length first you have to identify the axis line each corner point draw the join each corner point to opposite edge midpoint this corner point this opposite edge midpoint similarly this corner point and join opposite edge midpoint you can get axis point or center point that is o now now join uh, remaining uh, last the another corner point and center point now give the names a b c in counter clockwise direction when you see from this side first a is visible next b is visible and c is invisible then project the base points of front view on xy and name those name those points from each and every every corner point draw the projectors up to xy line from a point next center point o next bc point next give the names next you can draw the one axis line here one important point is here ao slant edge is parallel to xy so you can draw the you can draw the true length from a dash center from a dash with the true length of edge 75 mm cut an axis line and mark o dash point here axis is axis is not known o dash is finalized by slant edge length then complete front view here this is the a dash point from by using your engineering compass a dash center take 75 mm radius draw the arc on this axis line this is o dash next join 
ओ डैश ए डैश ओ डैश सी डैश ए डैश दिस इज द वेन यू सी फ्रॉम दिस सेट बी इज विजिबल सी इज इन विजिबल सो आई हैव रिप्रेजेंट दैट बी डैश ऑफ सी डैश दिस लेंथ इज सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम The next condition is here the front view is a dash, b dash, up c dash, o dash. This is the front view. In the second front view makes face o dash, b dash, c dash. Here the triangular face o dash, b dash, and c dash. This is vertical. As said in the problem. Next, draw the one vertical line that means perpendicular line to x x y <coughs> this is the b dash of c dash take your engineering compass measure b dash o dash length and mark on this vertical line this name is o dash similarly you can you can take this radius a dash b dash from b dash center draw the arc here and o dash center take 75 mm length and cut this previous arc you can get the point name is a dash now join a dash o dash o dash b dash b dash a dash this is the second front view he has clearly given that one of its triangular face vertical here the triangular face is o dash b dash c dash that should be vertical next also draw the axis line this is the axis line this is the second front view after completion of this second front view we have to draw the projectors vertical projectors from each and every corner point from a dash next b dash of c dash here only two points are there that is a dash and b dash of c dash next draw the horizontal projectors from previous initial top view that means from c point from a point next b point and also locate the intersect intersection points intersecting points a dash vertical projector a horizontal projector that is a1 similarly b vertical projector b dash vertical projector b horizontal projector this is b1 next c dash vertical projector c horizontal projector the intersection point name is c1 <coughs> next o dash vertical projector o horizontal projector the intersection point is o1 now join outermost points here the outermost points are a1 b1 c1 c1 a1 a1 b1 b1 c1 and c1 a1 these are the outermost points join a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 a1 when you see from top side a1 a dash o dash these edges also visible so you can draw join a1 o1 when you seeing from top side <coughs> these two triangular faces a1 o1 c1 <coughs> a1 b1 o1 these two triangular faces are visible in the top view the next condition is this face inclined at 45 degrees to the vp for third top view in third top view make an angle 45 degrees with vp this edge c1 b1 this edge should be 45 degrees with vp draw the 45 degrees line and transfer this second top view to third top view with an angle of 45 degrees locate c1 point and by using your engineering compass measure the distance c1 b1 and transfer those points to this 45 degrees line c1 next this is the o1 next b1 
just by using your engineering compass you can transfer those points c1 o1 b1 to this 45 degrees line next again locate this a1 point by using your engineering compass take b1 a1 radius b1 is center draw the arc here next a1 c1 as radius c1 as center cut this previous arc now join locate this point name is a1 join a1 b1 b1 c1 and a1 c1 also join a1 o1 this is the final top view from each and every corner point draw the vertical projector for final front view from a1 from b1 c1 o1 and b1 similarly we have to draw the horizontal projectors from second front view from o dash a dash o dash now also look at the intersection points here a1 vertical projector a dash horizontal projector the intersection point name is a1 dash b1 vertical projector and b dash horizontal projector that point name is b1 dash similarly c1 vertical projector and c dash horizontal projector that point name is c1 dash o1 vertical projector and o dash horizontal projector the intersection point name is o1 dash now join outermost points here the outermost points are a1 dash c1 dash b1 dash and o1 dash join a1 dash and c1 dash next c1 dash and b1 dash and b1 dash and o1 dash now join o1 dash and a1 dash when you are seeing from this side for getting front view here a1 point is a1 a1 b1 edge is visible so we can join a1 dash b1 dash with continuous thick line here c1 point is near to xy line and away to observer so this corner point is invisible so we can represent with dash line c1 dash o1 dash is the invisible edge so you can represent with dash line c1 dash and o1 dash this is the final front view and top view for the given problem i hope this problem is clear to everyone thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates